Yeah, All right. Uh, Recording in progress. Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, shalom, shalom. 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 All right. Before we get started, we're going to start off by giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka Kodash. All right. Uh, double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect. The ones out there who are doing this work diligently and chiefly keeping the faith, making your calling and your election sure. Uh, we're going to get right into it. Uh, this is the uh, 22nd installment to the uh, to the series doing on the channel called uh, The Parables of Yahawashai. The title of this uh, parable is called The Absent Householder. Uh, we're going to start with Mark chapter 13 and uh, verse 34, read to verse 37, then bring out precepts to back it up through the spirit. You got it, brothers. Uh -huh. This is the book of uh, Mark, chapter 13, verse 34. It says, For the Son of Man is as a man taken a far journey, who left his house and gave authority to his servants, and to, to lock it, and to every man his work, and commanded the porter to watch. Yeah, so we're going to read straight through, and then we're going to read back over it to break it down. You got it, brother. Come on, verse 35. Watch ye therefore... For you know not when the master of the house coming at even or at midnight or lock it, or at the, the cock crowing or in the morning, lest come and suddenly he find you sleep. And what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. Come so that's mighty, you know, through the spirit. This is our Lord, you know, uh, speaking in a parable, you know, and only a few can understand, you know, what he's talking about. You know, not everybody can understand this parable. You know, start at verse 34 again, Baba Kasha. Mark chapter 13, verse 34. For the son of man. 33. Uh, Slakia. 30, uh, 34. Well, you want to start at 33? Yeah. Yeah, that's better. I mean. Yeah. You might as well start at 32 then. Con. <laughs> God, Con, start at verse 32. 32, yeah, Con. This is Mark this. chapter 32. I mean, it's like in March chapter 13, verse 32. But of that day <clears throat> and that hour, no, no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. Taking him. Con, if I may, you know, not even the Son knows the day. The scripture says, Yahweh shall, shall leap down, you know, when, when the Father, you know, when the Yahweh, which his name means he is or he exists, when Yahweh give the son who's Yahweh Shai, right? He he give him that cue, you know, Yahweh Shai going to leap down because he's ready for vengeance. You know, that's the spirit Yahweh Shai is coming back with, man. You know, he's not coming back with, uh, you know, uh, uh, he's not leaving. He's not coming back as a sheep, as a lamb, you know, like he did when he left. You know, he's coming back as a lion, man. You know? It says, Wisdom of Solomon 18, verse 15. Thine almighty word leaped down from heaven out of that royal throne as a fierce man of war into the midst of a land of destruction. Huh. So it's pretty much what the brother just said, that he, he's going to leap down. He's he's pretty much antsy. He's waiting. Because mm -hmm. the Lord is the one that's going to give that cue to go. So right now, he, he, does, he doesn't have any unction. He's just sitting there waiting. But when that time goes, he's going to come down with that full glory. That goes back to Isaiah 47. Um, yeah, 47. Mm -hmm. He says, I will not meet thee as a man, but God. I will come back in my full glory, roughly paraphrasing. God, that's mighty. You know, uh, if I may, they said, no man nor at the hour. You know, nobody. So you can't be out here deceived if you see somebody talking about, hey, Yahweh Shai is in the desert, or the Lord, I seen him over in New York. You know, it's going to be a time, you know, that people going to do that, man. You know, God. especially as destruction uh, you know, uh, come forth. It's gonna be false messiahs out there that these uh these foolish people are gonna be trying to follow. You know, yeah. they're gonna be out there. You know, saying they doing. You know, saying and doing false miracles, thinking they have the power of the Lord, man. And you know, they're gonna deceive many. Yeah. You know, huh? You got it, brother. If anybody ain't got another to say, you got it. Uh, you said it. You, you pretty much said it. Uh, the scripture says there's going to be many antichrists, man. Huh. You know, many antichrists, you know, uh, coming in the name of 
how are you, how are you, but the Lord gave us a certain, you know, <laughs> he gave us a certain season and a certain description on what is actually going to take place, you know, when on his coming, man. you know, and hey, that's the, I believe that's the heading of this, uh, this actual answer. I believe it's like the return of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Things you know, to come. So, no, nah, I believe it's down. Oh, I, I believe it's down uh, um, towards. There we go. Yep, that's it. That's it. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a like return. Of, yeah, so the Lord gave us an actual uh, a, a description on what his return was going to be, you know? Okay. That's why, you know, It'll be uh, to a thief to some, man, to some. But to some, we're going to be preparing like what we're going into right now, man. Watch it. You got to be, bro. That's right. Uh, you got it. Uh, Yabba Sop. Read to right, verse bro. 32 for me. Mark 13 and 32 from the top, it says, But of that day and that hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels, which are in heaven, neither the sun. But the Father, take take mm -hmm, watch and pray, for you know not when the time is. Hey, you don't know what. Oh, go ahead, Salak you. Yeah, my bad. I was gonna read uh, Oh, the next uh, verse. Uh, if I may, yeah, you know, yeah. the scripture says, uh, "Take heed." You know, watch. Take heed to what? The prophets. The warning from the prophets. You know, yeah. because the prophets are the prophets are out here speaking. You know, letting you know the things to come. Telling you to listen. Hey, the scriptures let us know in Jeremiah 44 and 4 that he sent the prophets to tell you the things that he hate. You know? But the majority, you know, the majority are gonna, you know, uh disregard what the prophets gotta say, and they're gonna be desolate. You know? That's it. That's it. Hey, if I may, because when you go into the word heed, it goes into uh, observe, <laughs> you know, so being able to observe or what to take care of pretty much protect you know hold on fast to what you have man uh yeah for sure you could probably go into it you know i got the mm -hmm. you could get that real quick the edamon and then we can get this heed carefully attention notice regard mm -hmm. so pretty much like the brother was saying you got to pay attention stay upon your watch if you stay upon your watch you're not going to get caught up in that day that's right uh -huh. Ooh. I know, right? <laughs> he said, "Oh, yeah, yeah." You know, you know that that definition. That's why the spirit jumped on me just to go into it because, you know, the brother, right, man? It says to see, discern. You know, you gotta have a spiritual eye in order to discern the times that you're in. You know, the the if you can't, if you don't have the spirit working with you, you're gonna be caught up in her beauty. You're gonna be caught up in America's beauty, man. Blinded by the light. Exactly. You're going to be enamored by her beauty to the point where you're going to be sucked in. Only The only way you can escape the beauty, the, the abominations of this whore is if the spirit is working with you, man. You know? It says, uh, uh, to be possessed of sight, have the power of seeing. See, everybody got eyes. Everybody got ears, you know? But they can't really see. They don't have the eyes out to see. They don't have the 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 ears to completely understand. You know. Hey, Sirach chapter seventeen. <coughs> believe, uh, it talks about those senses. You see what I'm saying? And and pretty much every man was uh, born with those senses, but the man of the Lord has another sense. You know what I'm saying? And, it, and it's able to uh, to be of understanding. You know, what I'm saying? It's, it's cognitive understanding. You know, roughly paraphrasing, and on top of that, to be able to speak what he understood. You I see? got that for you. All right, come, come, go into it, bro. But let him finish this, uh, because I wanted him to go to this uh, metaphorically, the number two as well, too. Come, come. Come. Uh, it says to see with the mind's eye, <laughs> to observe, <laughs> to hey, you know the uh, the you got to have the the spirit on you, man. You know, yeah. you got to have that, uh, that, that spiritual mark that, that allows you to see through all of this darkness, man. You know, it says observe, perceive, discover, understand, you know, when, when you actually read a lot of people just glance over words, but you pose a read to understand, 
You know, you don't supposed to be just out here blindly reading things and don't understand it. Do you understand what you are part of? Do you know that you're 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 uh, called and, and you're working diligently to be chosen? You know, do you got to see that you got to it's like it's like demon hunter school, a demon slayer school, if you will, man. You you being taught by teachers to, to prepare you to fight against demons, to fight against the things of this world, man. The principalities, the wickedness at high places, man. You know? Yeah, and and here and that is wisdom, man. Uh, if I may, you know, this is what the scripture, the instructions of the Lord talks about in Proverbs chapter one, okay? Proverbs chapter four. All right, to be able to receive and perceive, perceive then receive, you know, this understanding, man. And that's not you can't just do that, you know, uh just to do it, man. This is, has to be given to you, you know, by the Lord, man. Yep. You can finish me, bro. Uh Khan, let's go back. Oh, get your uh get your precept. Khan, uh yeah, what's up? Um, Khan, I can throw up pretending to uh to Mark. Uh bring it out. Bring your precepts out. You have one how you want? Yeah, you can bring your precept out to y'all what's up. You or y'all what's up? Y'all what's up? <laughs> Just to make sure. uh, this is Luke chapter 12, starting at verse 40. Luke chapter 12, verse 40. It says, Be ye therefore ready also, for the Son of Man cometh at an hour when you think not. Then Peter said unto him, Lord, speakest thou this parable unto us, or even to all? And the Lord said, Who then is that faithful and wise steward, who his Lord shall make ruler over his household to give them their portion of meat in due season? Blessed is that servant who his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. So pretty much, uh, exactly what we wanted to mark, you know, uh, when the Lord come back, we're supposed to find us doing his work, you know, and uh, trying to be on the best path possible, you know. Con, if I may, um, you see it said in verse 41 here over in Luke chapter 12, speak is thou this parable unto us or even to all, you know, and the Lord specified, you know, who he was talking to, who he was talking about, you know, <laughs> you know, you know, only the elect will be able to truly understand this hundred percent truth that we got, you know, everybody else, they ain't going to be able to get it. You know, the Lord said, who then is that faithful and wise steward, you know, a, a, you know, a workman for the Lord, you know, working and tending to the sheep, working and tending to the household, man, you know, God. which are who the elect in this time, you know, yeah, we speaking to all Israel, telling them that judgment, you know, and things like that, but really only the elect will be brought back in. So you got camps out here talking about, I'm going to save my people and let's go over here and let's go over there. Nah, man, you know, we got to save you already. That's your house shy. You know what I'm saying? Our job is to teach this word and, and you know what I'm saying, and give people their meat in due season. You know, as a householder, you know, bring your precepts out. Um, this is Matthew 13 and 13, just pretty much going to what the brother just said. It says, therefore, speak I to them in parables because they seeing, see not, and hearing, they hear not, neither do they understand. And then the NLT says, that is why I use these parables, for they look, but they don't really see. They hear, but they don't really listen or understand. So just like the brother was saying, it's not really given to them. Yeah, you may tell these people that uh, what's going on, but what happens? What do they do? Goes in one ear and out the other. It's just like when you hire somebody at a job. You can tell them your vision, but at the end of the day, they only there to um, pretty much get what they want out of it. Not everybody's going to see what the Lord is trying to get um, get them to see. God, that's beautiful. Thanks. Uh. Uh, Yasharala, your mic muted. Um, I know you wanted to say something on that. Go yeah, ahead, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, like the brother was saying, just wanted to uh, deal down on that. But yeah, and that's true. It wasn't given to them. It wasn't passed down to them. You see what I'm saying? If you can get uh, Psalms chapter 78, and it's yeah. going to put a dagger into it, you know? Con, I get one quick thing. Uh, Salakia, just I want to um get to verse fifteen real quick, and then we can go to the, that precept, Yasharala. Uh, it says, "For this people heart is wax gro wax gross, 
and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, meaning their mind, and should be converted, and sh and I should heal them. This is the process that the elect is going through right now. You know, you got you got on one side, you got the two thirds who are waxed gross. You know, they their ears are dull of hearing; they don't understand. You know, their eyes have been closed. You know, but hey, through the Spirit, you know, the Lord is allowing the elect to be healed by Him, to be converted from the world. You know. And that's beautiful. And this is a repentant verse too, as well. Like you can repent if you were once in a waxed gross state and dole of hearing, you have a chance to repent through the grace of Yahweh Shai, you know, and be healed, you know, but if not, you're going to remain in the congregation of the dead, man. You know, mm -hmm. uh, what precept you wanted, uh, Yasharala? And then what did you have to uh, say, Yahweh Shai? Oh, uh, we, we moved past that. We straight. Okay. So like. Uh, I just wanted to harp on that parable and those parables that have been passed down from generations to generations, and then we can move on. Come uh, on. Psalm, Psalm 78, start at verse 1. Psalm 78, verse 1. Yeah, Psalm 78, verse 1. Here it is right here. Uh, it says, this is Psalm 78, verse 1. But you are here, reading it. Um, God's guidance of his people in spite of their unfaithfulness. Right. You so so in spite of our unfaithfulness that you know at the time, you know, when we disobeyed the Lord, you know, the, the Lord still was guiding us, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> in spite right. of our unfaithfulness, man. In spite of that. And and now, you know, after three days and a half, he shut us up, you know, from and turned his face from from us. You know, now now he's reviving us back into this fold, man. Okay. And and giving us back these these parables and deep dark sayings, you know, of our fathers of the old, man. You can read on. It says, Psalm 78, verse 1. Give ear, O my people, to my law. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open up my mouth in a parable, and I will utter dark sayings of old. That's it, man. Those dark sayings of old, the Lord is uttering once once again. You know, once again, it's locked. Uh, did y'all hear me? Con. Yes, sir. Uh, hey, he's he's uttering those dark sins once again, and we're starting to get uh, understanding, you know, of these mysteries, man. What he say? Uh, he revealed his secrets to his servants, the prophets. That's man. crazy. I got that. Uh, <laughs> As a precept, uh, might as well uh, go ahead and, you know, get. It. I think it's Amos. It's like that. You know, um, it's like yeah. You know, okay. Trying to, I gotta bring the screen down a little bit. So like yeah. Oh yeah, uh this Amos chapter three right here. See I had it pulled up. <clears throat> it's uh Amos chapter three and verse seven. It says, Surely the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his service the prophets. You got it, brother. Right. You know, he revealed his secrets to the service the prophets, man. Yes, this is why, you know, I brought this up. You see what I'm saying? Because at one point, you know, hey, we were unfaithful to the Lord, okay? But the Lord still showed mercy on us but in, a, in, a, in order for us to get these secrets, man, you know, in these times, okay? But it was all, you know, for our learning as well, too, you know? We can finish this out, and then we can go back to uh, the lesson. Yes, sir. Verse 3, it says, which we have, you want me to go back to 2? You can read 3. Okay. Which we have heard and known, and our fathers have told us. Ooh. Yeah. So now, go ahead, go ahead, bro. Because uh, uh, if I may, um, in Hebrews one and one, that's a precept that goes with this real quick, and I'm gonna grab it, um, because you know it says in what uh, in sundry times in diverse manners he spoke to the people by who by the mouth of the prophets, man. You see, this is Hebrews one and one. It says God or Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You know, who at sundry times in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. So it shows you, you know, the pipeline in which the Lord speaks. You know, that's how, you know, you hear the words of the Lord out of his mouth. Who is the mouth? The prophets. Uh, you know, so like it, brother, you got it. Well, if I may add on that sundry, man, it goes into what? 
many times. If you can pull that up, yep. it goes into many times, you know. So <laughs> we've been over and over and, and hearing his word, you know, and, and many times in many ways, the Lord has given us this understanding, man. You can pull it out. That's right. This is a uh... strong G4181. Palumeros. Polymeros. Polymeros or Polymeros. I hold on, say it uh, one more time. Strong's G forty one eighty one. Polymeros. Polymeros. It says, uh, by many portions, by many times, and in many ways. Hey, that's <laughs> over through the generations, throughout our generations, man. You know, many ways, man. Many and many portions, man. The Lord had not kept it. He kept the secret for us only for a season, man. You know, it's only for a season for us, for our learning, man, in order for us to, you know, to, to get it, you know, without like getting, get understanding. Now yes, he's waking us back up, you know, and he's keeping his promise, you know, that we're going to keep, keep continue to keep these secrets, man. All right, go ahead, big bro. Hey, if I may, uh, that links up with what the brother Yabasa brought out when he said, you know, his the servants of the household shall give them meat by measure. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that priesthood that we just brought out that links up with how you know with that sundry times you know and with portions you know because every every Israelite is not on the same level you know so you got to be able to be an adequate teacher the scripture says cast not thy pearls before swine so with some people you don't even suppose to teach right and when you go into that you know you know you got to teach to somebody who exemplifies, you know, that they can utilize the spirit in a great way, in a good way, and bring forth the Lord's truth. You know? Even Ezra he talks about that. He said, uh, you know, go to those who roughly bear phrase and go to those who, who be of like mind. You know, God. got guilt saying. You know, That's, right. Bear, That's right. You know? If I may, he said, I will give you meat in due season. So like the brother has said, he hid it for a short time. But now we're coming upon that season well, he's finally giving us this this um full of the word. He's giving us what's going on now. This understanding. God. Meat and, and, and what you got before the meat is the milk. Now we uh -huh. have to all over again, you know, in the ways of the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? And then once we, you know, uh nurtured up by that milk, and then the meat comes after that. That's right. But you can eat four because that's pretty much the point. All of it really is the point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh you can stop at four and so we can get back to the lesson. Verse four, it says, we will not hide them from their children, showing the generation to come the praises of the Lord and his strength and his wonderful work that he have done. That's it, man. And those, those secrets and those mysteries, man, that he's revealing to us to this day, man. You know, that he, these are the same secrets, you know, that's revealed, that has been revealed to our forefathers, man. Yep. The, but yet now we have a more of an understanding of these prophecies and these secrets. Now, you see what I'm saying? Because the Lord has revived us up in these times. Why? Because the Lord is about to come back, man. You know? Right, sir. Got to be right. Colossians 1, we can start to point in 26. Even the mystery which have been here from ages and from generations, but now is manifest to, to his saints. And that word manifest goes into making clear, you know? You know, it's made, it now it's made clear to the saints. Who's the saints, man? It's service to prophets, man. All right? It's saints. What's that? Psalm, uh, what's that? 147? 148, verse 14. Come, come, something like that. You know? I hey, think so. th These are the saints of the Lord, man. All right? It's, 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 it's the Israelites, but not only just the Israelites, you know, it's the elect of the Israel, man, because we know all Israel is not of Israel. Okay. All right? All right. You know, if I may... Um, this links up also with uh, Baruch 2 and 30, you know, how the Lord is giving us a, a mind and a spirit to what? Call upon his name in the land of our captivity, you know, that's, it's the Lord has given us this spirit, you know, because why? For prophecy's sake, it's time now. It's time to wake up. It's time to be revived. It's time to be delivered. So, you know. You can do nothing against prophecy. Esau can't do shit against prophecy. Hey, you you yourself can't do nothing against prophecy. You know, it, it, eventually we will be at a time where, you know, we will be healed. You know, that's what's coming, man. And, and it's the Lord that's given us everything that we need in order to overcome, you know, the, the things to come. 
Yeah, you're right. The, the healing process, the process, it takes a while, man. For true healing, to, you know what I'm saying, to manifest, man. And we starting that process now with this word, man. You know, this word is the only ointment, medicine, you know what I'm saying, that can, that's able to heal us, man. And once right. we come and enter into that kingdom, man, we'll be truly healed, man. That's right. We'll be healed, man, in a sense, man. That's right, right? man. If I may, it's just like in a doctor's office. Before you go to your actual surgery, they put you through certain uh, treatments first. All right, well, we got to get your body ready for the main thing. So that's what the Lord's putting us through. He's putting us through these treatments, lessons at a time. Like the brother said, giving us milk. Okay, here, this is what you need. You need to take this pill so your body can get rid of this. Okay, now you need me. All right, so now you need to take this so we can understand what's going on then. But then at the end, what's going to happen? We're going to have that full download. That's right. Hey, if I may, you know, the Lord is the physician, the good physician. So as a as a good physician, he's going to give you a prescription that you need. And he's going to keep giving you that prescription until you heal. Come on. You know, uh, we can continue on through the spirit if nobody got something to say. We can continue with uh, verse uh, 34. Oh, you can start at verse 33 again. Yeah, I was going to Huh. Mark chapter 13, verse 33. Take me, mm -hmm. watch and pray, for you know not when the time is. Hey, that's that fear. If I may, that's that fear that's supposed to come upon you. You know, you're supposed to be watching and praying because, you know, you don't know, man. You, you got to keep repenting because the scripture says in Luke 13 and 3, repent or you shall all likewise perish. So if you're not repenting, you know, you're not deeming the times. You're not watching. You're not praying. You know, and then he's going to overtake you as a thief. You know, he'll catch you in your sin. You might have not repented for a sin when he come up. You might be indulged in the sin. You know what I'm saying? You got to stay watching, stay praying because you don't know when he's coming. You know, uh, and that's the mindset you got to have. That's the fear. That dread got to be upon you, man. You know, uh, and that dread will urge you to repent. You know, Salaki, you got it, brother. Verse 34. For the son of man is as a man taking a far journey who left his house and gave authority to his servant. Hey, like we That's brought it. out. So like if I may, like we brought out, like the brother brought out, the servants are who? Are the, the prophets, the elect in this time, you know? You know, because the servants are doing what? They're feeding the sheep. You know, the servants, and just, the Lord said to Peter, if you love me, feed my sheep. You know, so he, the Lord gave authority to his servants to do what? What he did when he walked the earth. You know, when the Lord walked the earth, what did he do? He fed the sheep. He was edifying. He was actually, you know, uh, breaking down false doctrines, doing the same thing that the prophets are doing now. So you can see the servant is not greater than his master, man. I got a quick precept. Ephraim said, uh, Ephraim said, roughly paraphrasing, we're not servants, pretty much. Uh, we're uh, friends. We're from us upgraded to friends. Okay. So yeah. this is uh, John fifteen and fifteen. It says henceforth. So it's pretty much going into. Uh, I'm gonna get an NLT or for the. Uh, John fifteen and fifteen. You said. Yep. Go. Ahead. We got it. Uh, it says henceforth I call you not servants. For the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth, but I I have called you friends for all things that I have heard of my father I have made known unto you. Right. So Prima, Prima's got like an upgrade, you know? Yeah. Hey, if I may, you know, yeah, you're right. You know, we 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 we're we on the on the verge of becoming friends. You see right, what I'm saying? Right. Because we're, we're still in this race, man. Hey, the scriptures say, hey, he that endured to the mm -hmm. end, you know, the same shall be saved. saved. That. So that's <laughs> that's our our mission is to become friends with Yahweh while Yahweh shy, man. You know, so right now, we, yes, we are servants and still, you know what I mean? You know, we doing this work, man. You know, hey, the, the head the head householder, you know, we know is, hey, is Yahweh shy, man. Mm -hmm. You know? The head household or over over this uh, over this business, man. Okay, um, we're trying to make sure that you know we are more we are worthy, you know, by our works and our faith, you know, because mm -hmm. you can't you can't have one without the other, 
you know what I'm saying? Alone, right? It can't uh-huh. be a, you know just one alone, right? So uh-huh. we are we are trying we are, we are we are working our way into the friendships of why because a friend has to be what prove prove it Ooh. right trust it <laughs> yeah right right so the Lord is sending us through this fire you know what I'm saying and trying us you see what I'm saying hey on these screen these are the proving grounds right uh-huh. now okay you got it because I um uh, uh, let's read verse sixteen too as well Bob Kusha. John 15 verse 16 it says you have not chosen me but I have chosen you so like yeah, if I may you know this is not your choice you know yeah. this is not something that you can just you got the Christian church talking about I chose God in my life uh, you know what I'm saying? That's a statement that the Christians use I, I chose to follow the Lord in my life I chose Jesus Right here it says, "What you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you." See, you keep the Christian church. You keep following Jesus and think you chose him. You know the elect. You know the Israelites, the true people. You know they know that we have. You know you have no choice in the matter. At one point in time in your life, you thought you was going to do a X, Y, and Z. You thought you was going to be this or that. You know in the world, but then the Lord sideswiped you with the truth. You know what I'm saying? You you got hit with this truth like a truck, man. And you have not, you know what I'm saying? You have not uh, let it go. Man, we all had different worldly aspirations that we wanted to be a part of. But that's what shows you how the Lord chose you. You know what I'm saying? When he sideswiped you, no, no matter where you were in life, this truth had, had was shining his light to you and it cultivated you. You know, it, it captured you, you know? And it was so appealing enough to the point where you let everything else go. You know? Okay. You got it, brother. You want to know why? Because the Lord ordained it. That was our destiny. <laughs> That's right. And this, you're going to get on that right track, the right path to where you're supposed to be on. Regardless of who you are, you're going to be, you're going to follow your destiny, regardless of how you, how you put it. That's right. It's just like, if I may, it's just like, so, so I can go ahead, Iowa. Now you got it. I'll I wait. see you with your hand up, Slucky. Now you got it. No, I was, you know, it's going to be real quick. You know, uh, just like a father, you know, uh, you know, a father, you know, in, back in the days, man, hey, a father and then the son was to, you know, to grow up and do the father's business, man. Hey, right. the son was what, trying to do his own thing. No, you finna do what I want you to do. You see what I'm saying? Right. You, finna, you finna be in my, and that's what the Lord is doing to us. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You you can want to do all this other shit, but guess what? No, you want to come do my business. That's you right. See what I'm saying, and that's what this is about, man. You know, we end up. This is our true occupation, man. You know, this because this comes first, man. All right. So this is how you know. You know. <laughs> this is how you know the Lord is pretty much Jake, man. You know. You got to be going. I was going to say, back into um, what the um, Lord had said, he pretty much said, the Lord directed our steps. So like the brother was saying, no matter what you thought you were going to do, at the end of the day, this is what you were, this is what you were um, destined to do. This is what you were chosen to do. Just like um, you have an omen, omen, what your name means, what you're going to do, that's the same thing for us. The Lord chose us to um, fulfill this prophecy. That's right, man. You know, so... To think about if by us knowing that, if I may, by us knowing that, you know, uh, the Lord has already ordained our path to think about any other path or what you could be doing in the world is vanity. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you know, it's all vain. You know what I'm saying? Because it was never supposed to happen. God. You know? Hey, that word vanity goes into empty, man. God. You know, being it having no no purpose. There was no purpose in none of that shit that we was doing in the world. Huh. Excuse my language. You know, this this gives us true purpose, man. Ooh. This, this truly gives us true purpose in life. You see what I'm saying? This is the only thing that made us lively, really, you know? This is true purpose, man, because now we have a trajectory on, on where our, 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 our future is going to be, man. All right? You got it, uh, big bro. Uh, let's continue so, on yeah, here. Oh, back slap. When he pretty much was trying to run away from what his purpose was, and what happened, he got swallowed up because the Lord told him to do something he wasn't going. He wasn't trying to do it, but at the end of the day, what he ended up doing exactly what the Lord told him to do. That's right. That's the if I may. That's the only reason why he was released from the big fish. <laughs> you know, because if it was the that fish would have killed his ass. 
if he if he wouldn't if he wouldn't humble himself and let go of that pride and let go of whatever was cu- catching him up, that fish was he didn't swallow him. You know what I'm saying with with good intentions. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's awesome. Come. That's if we didn't humble ourselves down, and hey, Lord, this is the only reason why we still alive right now. That's I right. Mean, hey man, hey, it's to do this word, man, and nothing else, because this is a true purpose. Everything else, like the brother brought out, man, was empty and vain, man. You know, it had no purpose. That's right. I, 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 you. Uh, let's continue on at verse sixteen. Then we'll go back. Right. Hey, this is the spirit flowing. Word. Spirit flowing, man. Go ahead, brother. You got it. If I may, can I get uh, Jeremiah 1 to 5? Cut. Just a quick backstory we were going into. Uh, I pretty much, if we had a job, you know, the Lord ordains do something, we're going to do it. Cut. Here you go right here. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is uh, Jeremiah 1, 1 verse 5. says, before thee in the belly, I knew thee. So pretty much. So I can read that one more time. Cut. Jeremiah 1 and 5, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. So pretty much before you were brought into this world, the Lord knew you on the other side in the spirit realm. Right. And it set, you, it set you apart. That's what it says about um, uh, sanctified thee. So pretty much he was talking to uh, Jeremiah, but that also goes, for, goes to... Um, the brother that's going that's teaching, you know. The that's right. Out here. If I may, can I get that word and ordained? It says to appoint or admit to the ministry of the church, put in order or arrange. So pretty much the it was the notion of the Lord pretty much saying, Before you even get out here into the world, this is what your purpose gonna be. This this is what I set you out here to do, and this is what you're gonna do. Yeah. And can I prove that? Can I prove that right quick? Could you go into that word? Uh, uh, if I may go into that word, uh, what's the word? Uh, formed, or fire formed in that uh, Jeremiah. It should, it should say predetermined something, something like that. Mm. And then uh, we can go back. Before I should be formed B. Uh, here it is. Uh... Strong's age thirty three thirty five. Yatsad. 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 Uh, it says to form, fashion, frame. Oh, it's not the Lord the Potter who controls the clay. You see. Uh, it says to form, to fashion of human activity, of divine activity, of creation. So the Lord created. One to be an evil vessel and one to be a righteous vessel. You know, Esau Edom is the wicked vessel, man. It says uh, individuals at conception, Israel as a people. You see, it says to frame, preordain, plan. So th- we were we were planned. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Imagine that. We were planned, man. You know, it says purpose of a situation, purpose of a situation. What is the purpose? What is the purpose of us being in this situation? It's to become gods. You know, it's to become true judges. We we understand what wickedness is, you know, and we under we have both sides now. That's duality. You know, we we knew what good was, you know. When we were uh when, when Adam was in the garden, everything was peaceful before you know the wife, before the woman brought him that forbidden fruit, <laughs> that forbidden knowledge, you know. Hey man, but we're gonna go back to we're gonna go to a state where we know both good and evil, and we're gonna do good constantly, you know. Um it says to be formed, be created, to be predetermined, be preordained. And, and and that's pre then that's predestination. And when you go to that word predetermined, you know, it goes into being predestined. You know, since the foundation of the earth, man, we have been called 
you know, in the spirit where we are the first, we have to be the first fruits, Lord willing, we are, you know, of, of, of the spirit world who helped create the world, you know, in the earth, well, you how it's shine, man. Okay, so we have already been chosen, man. You know, well, we just got to go through the process now. Man. We going, we are going through that uh, 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 training up process right now as we speak, man. All right, that's, that's all I wanted to bring up. Kind of if I may, uh, I want to read some more of this down here. It says, through the squeezing into shape okay. to mold into a form, Expect, oh, to mold into a form. We're being molded. We're being shaped into the likeness of the Lord, man. You know? Especially as a potter. You know? Hey, that's beautiful, man. You know, so is, you know, take a deep breath. Hey, cast all your cares upon the Lord. You know? Hey, if I may, what's that? Genesis uh, chapter 2. You ain't got to go there. You know, formed what? You say you formed act. You know what? From the dust of the ground. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, this is the same way the Lord fashioned us the same way, man. You know? Hey, if we can if you believe it through the spirit, man, I don't wish you I was shy, man. That's right. You know? So shit, hey, when we was born, you know, and, and made, you know, <laughs> hey, you know, to already be into this truth, man, and push this world. That's okay. right. <clears throat> uh let's continue on with this verse sixteen real quick and then we're gonna go back to the uh parable. Um, John 15 and 16, it says, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit. So, and do you need to select you? If I may, do you need to get it ordained by the Catholic Church? No. <laughs> do you got to go to seminary school or cemetery school? No. You don't got to pay. You ain't got to do all that, man. You ain't got to do none of that. It's the Lord ordained prophets. You see, you got it, brother. Hey, he said you should go and bring forth fruit. That's not a maybe. The true prophets out here who are standing on business, who are who got the hundred percent truth, they're bringing forth fruit. Fruit that's what meat for repentance. You know, you got it, brother. Continue on. It says that you should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain. That whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, He may give you. He may give it you. Hey, if I may, you know, that's the order. Right there. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? You gotta you gotta ask the Lord to forgive you in the name of Yahweh Shai. You know? Whatever you ask the Father in the name of Yahweh Shai, it will be given unto you. Those who follow that proper order, the Lord will give you what you ask for, man. You know, the only reason we can become only reason the Lord can look at us again is through Yahweh Shai. Um, if I may. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it said, it said that your fruit should be made. And we know the Lord get an increase, man. And if the Lord gives the increase, that's the only way it's going to remain, man. That's right. You know, uh, we, we can go out there and plant, you know, and water, you know, but the Lord can only get an increase, man. This is why our fruit you know, will remain, man, because we are here doing the work, man. And not only that, because it was given to us, you know, from yeah, from from above, right? That's right. Got it. Hey, that's beautiful. You know, a, a good growing seed. You know, exactly. not a not a seed that remained dormant. Mm -hmm. You know, because how do you know when a you know if a seed grows? That's because the Lord wanted to grow. If it remained dormant, hey, that's the same thing. The Lord don't want it to grow. You know, that's with natural seeds. You throw some seeds on the ground, the seeds that grow up are the ones who the Lord sanctioned. You know, <laughs> the Lord, it's a spiritual seed that he allows to grow as well as these carnal seeds out here, these natural seeds. Um, yeah, what came to my mind was that uh, was that little passage of uh, rose from the concrete. You know? God, God. <laughs> the only way a rose going to grow from a concrete, you know, Hey, is it the is it yeah, how why how was shy wanting it to grow, man? That's right. You know, even though you know it had to go through, you know, a lot of concrete, you know, to get you know to, to be sprung up, man. You know, and that's pretty much us. Yeah. You know, we had to go through. We are the roads that grew through the concrete, man. You know, and we, we had we went our rough ways, man. 
but yet still the Lord still predestinated and preordained us, you know, to 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 get this truth. We That's go right. Back Where we left off at uh, verse 34, right? 34 or 35? 34. 34, come on. Just bring it from the top. You said start from the top? Yeah, just start from the top. Mark 13 and 34. For the Son of Man is as a man taken apart a journey who left his house and gave authority to his servants. We know Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, was delivered up on the cross, man, and, and you know, and he and he went away for only a season, man, you know, back to the spirit world, man. And guess what? But he had gave that authority to be the Holy Spirit, you know, to his apostles, and the apostles gave it to, you know, mm-hmm. pass it and pass that pass that information, you know, and, and that that wisdom down, you know, and this is why we're able to receive this wisdom now, okay, because Yahweh Shai had to die. You know, in order for us to live, That's in right. a sense, all right. But hey, just because he went on that far journey, guess what? He coming back, man. God. All right, to see what we've been reaping, man, and see what we've been turning over. You got to be good. Right. Uh, um, continue on verse uh, thirty-four. It says, "And to every man his work." And commanded the porter to watch. Hey, if I may, uh, he said to every man his work. You know, every last one of us, every last servant has a particular job, a duty list, if you will, that the Lord assigned to us. You know, and you can't abandon your list. You can't abandon your duties, man. You know, because if you do, you're going to be found asleep, not working, not being occupied. Every man that the Lord called have their work to do. Have their measurement of faith that they have to utilize, man. You know? You got it, brother. Um, you got something to say, Iowa? Yeah, I had a precept to back you up on um, what you had said earlier. Come this on. is um, 1 Corinthians 3, and I started verse 6. It says, I have planted a Paul's water, but Yahweh gives the increase. So then neither is he that planted anything, neither he that watered, but Yahweh that gives the increase. So pretty much you're just going back to what the brother was saying. If the Lord wants you to grow in this truth, you're going to grow. But if he wants you to stay dormant, you're going to stay dormant. That's right. That's right, brother. Straight to the point. Hey, it's a commandment to watch. (laughs) That's a commandment to watch and pray. You know? Hey, because the Lord, uh, he gave us another commandment. He told, he gave us the commandment to persevere. You know, and that's how you persevere by watching and praying, man. You got it, brother. You can continue on. Uh, Mark 13 and 35. Watch ye therefore, for you know not when the master of the house cometh at even or at midnight or at the cock crowing or in the morning. So the Lord, you know, if I may, the Lord can come when you least expect it. That's what he's saying. When you idling. You don't think he's going to come back? That's when he's going to come back, man. All right. I got a precept right here. Uh, uh, it says the day of the Lord, right? That's the title. Okay. This is uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, and I'm going to start at 1. It says, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. Why? Because the Lord is revealing it to us through the through the mouth of the prophets. You know, you know, this is already something that's being instilled in us. You know this already, like Jude 1 and 5 says, is what? He bringing it to your remembrance. You know, verse 2, it says, For yourselves know perfectly, perfectly, that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. And he's going to come like a thief to those who are not watching. Okay? Those who got, those who are alert, watchmen, you know, the Lord is going to appear right on time for you because you're going to be watching every hour, watching. You know what I'm saying? For the Lord's return, man. You know? If, if I may, that, uh, that verse one, it says, but of the times and the seasons, brother, and you have no need that I write unto you. That reminds me of Rebecca chapter uh, two, man. Where it's, I already got it. Come. Uh, bring bring it out. Bring it out. Uh, Rebecca two. 
Um, I have Micah too. I was holding him too, but I got a back of the book. Um, let him pull it up on the screen. And you can read it then. But uh, I Ooh. guess you can go and start at one. <laughs> um, so back in chapter two, verse one, I will stand upon my watch and set so like it, and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am proved. Right. We, we standing on our watch right now, man. We waiting for these, you know, pretty much these prophecies uh, to come, pa- come to pass, man. And every last one of these prophecies has found out to be true, man. Okay. The prophecies that that that, that had passed have, have became history. All right. And and the prophecies that that that, that we are in now, man, is 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 pretty much plain. It's gonna write it up. It's gonna speak about that, you know, in verse three. I mean, uh, verse two. All right. And the prophecies that's gonna come is more so a mystery, you know. But but hey, guess what? It's still gonna be uh, manifested, man. When those prophecies be be, be fulfilled, man. Uh, one of the prophecies is is what the uh, the woe, the third woe. Mm-hmm. Right. <clears throat> if I may just I wanted to add to the uh to the to this precept too as well in another lens, you know, when you're being rebuked by your elders, you know, you're watching, you know, you're watching how you react, you're watching how you know how your flesh do, you trying to keep your flesh under subjection, you know, you know, and uh Reyes and what I shall answer when I am reproved or when I'm corrected. You know, how how would you respond when you're corrected? By your elders, you know what I'm saying. You gotta, you not only watching for the prophecies, but you also watching to keep your body under subjection, your flesh under subjection, so that way you know you can offend less and also try not to offend one of the little ones. You know, so it's all about it's it's like a duality in a sense. You know, yeah, it's the the prophecies and things that we're watching out for, but you also watching out, you know, for uh for this uh these chains of darkness. They want to choke you up, you know? Yeah, your conduct. You know, you watching out for that. You using the spirit to watch the flesh, your own flesh. You know? You got it, brother. Verse uh, 2. Verse 2. It says, I read from that. It says, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth me. You see, if I if I may, that's the um, you know, that's the spirit right there. That's what the prophet's job to do. You know, it, it, those who you know stumble across the the word and want clarity, it's the prophet's job to clarify it for them. The breakdowns. That's why our elders. That's why apostles and our elders go into the breakdowns to make it easier. So you know, so those who read it may run. They made it easier for us. We have entered into other man's labors. So now when you don't know a breakdown, you could just type it up and go seek it and search for it, learn it, and run. Teach it. Right. You know? Only all all because our, our apostles were the trailblazers, starting with, you know, Yahweh Shai. Huh. You know? But you got it, brother. Uh, verse three. For the vision is yet for an important appointed time. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it, it will surely come. It will not tarry. Right. If I may, that's what we was just reading in First Thessalonians chapter five. At verse one, it said, You have no need that I write unto you, man. It ain't gonna be no need to write no more or, or speak no more. Guess what? These prophecies is gonna be speaking, man. All right? It's going to be speaking, so there's, there ain't going to be no need to even, because we didn't, we didn't spoken, you know, starting from the apostles and the elders and the bishops on down. We've been speaking, all right? So now there's no, there ain't going to be no need to speak it no more, because guess what? It's time to come to pass, man. Mm-hmm. All right? You got it? That's right. And that was, that was pretty much my point on that. God, though it Terry, yeah. <laughs> wait for it. Hey, what's the name of the channel? The main channel, GMS. It will not tarry. Um, you know, that's the spirit. You got it, brother. We can go back to uh, wait. What was I at? I was. Just, yeah. Wrong. yeah, here yeah, it is. This is uh. You got a precept? You have a song? Come on, bring it out. This is Ezekiel twelve and verse twenty-five. Just to back up what the brother had said, 
For I am the Lord, I will speak the word, and that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged, for in your days a rebellious house will I say the word and perform it, saith the Lord your house. Wow. Uh-huh. Speak on that. Okay, so pretty much like what the brother said. <laughs> yes, the Lord has um, the Lord is losing his his prophets in order to give the people the message. But since the Lord is actually putting stuff to um pretty much putting stuff to people's vision, they don't believe it. So they just pretty much say, oh, um, that's, that's not going to happen in my time. That didn't happen in my grandma's time. I, I'll turn to the Lord later on in life. Mm-hmm. The Lord's going to be tired of that. After a while, it's going to be, well, that time is now. Mm-hmm. Your salvation is geared in what you believe. So knowing these things, well, I'm a person I'll you to be. And I'll hold the conversation in conduct. Ooh. But Israel doesn't want to do that. Mm-hmm. Israel wants to sit here and, and play and, and have fun now. The Lord told us this is not our rest. So what's going to happen? You're going to get caught up as a thief in the night. And the Lord, and all the things that he said, it shall happen right there and then, one after the other, just like a woman in, um, what's it called? Travail. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's hey, right hey, here. Lord, Lord going to say, I'm done talking. Yeah. You know, that's Jay. Yeah, that's Jay. That's how you know it's Jay. I'm yeah. done talking. You know, you know that. You, hey, somebody say that. You know, it's time to clear the room. Yeah. <laughs> ain't going to be no more talking. Ain't going to be no more reasoning. You know what Lord, when he come back, that just popped in my mind. It's like, hey, that's beautiful. <laughs> that's how it's going to be. No more talk. I'm doing talk. <laughs> no more talk. Time yeah. for action, man. You know, uh-huh. uh, this is uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 3. It says, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travaileth upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. You see? Uh-huh. Hey, man, you know, if you ever dealt with a woman or, you know, you had kids, he was around, you know what I'm saying? You you can you can see how those contractions, man, they just keep going. You know, they'll start two minutes, of, they'll start seven minutes apart. Then they go to five minutes apart. Then they go to two minutes apart. And before you know it, she can't stop the baby from coming. You know, that's how these pro- each contraction is, is a prophecy taking place. And before you know it, that baby going to be born, which represents what? The kingdom, which represents Yahweh Shai is ruling, you know? Yeah, no, no matter, Salakia, hey, no matter how much epidural, you know, you put in, hey, guess what? <laughs> you know, try to numb the pain, mm-hmm. you know, because that's what Esau like to do. You know, yeah. he try to offset prophecy, yeah. you know, and, and, and he try to have that, you know, <laughs> epidural in the form of, you know, these entertainers, yeah. Yeah. you know, in the form of his... You know, his lying wonders, you know, yeah. to try to offset prophecy. But no, you know, hey, sure shit stink. Guess what? Yeah. Hey, it's going to come. That yeah. baby coming, man. That baby coming. It's hey, uh, hey, <laughs> you know, hey, I'm sorry. Hey, it's like to my father. Oh, no, hey, you're in the spirit. It's all through the spirit, man. You know, um, you know, it's that peace and safety. Then sudden destruction cometh upon them. You know, they're going to be in a totally different type of mind. They're going to be thinking, you know, the security system is going to protect them. They're going to think Esau is going to protect them. Hey, I'm safe now. I'm at peace now. That's when them news going to come. That's when that destruction is going to come. You got it, brother. If I may add, what's the main thing that they think is going to protect them? The MOTV. Mm-hmm. They're going to believe that that's going to be the way out. Yeah. But that's going to be your fall down for It's going to be a destruction. That's right. That's right. Sudden destruction cometh upon them. It's going to be poisonous, not poisonous, but uh, uh, pus s- sores at the <laughs> injection site. You know what I'm saying? They, they gonna think, like I was just talking about this earlier, they gonna think that that C-hip is gonna save them, but it might malfunction in their hand because Esau has still <laughs> wicked. <laughs> Esau has <laughs> wicked, so they gonna think they gonna be able to go to the store. Esau is gonna make the chip malfunction. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, how you trusting in this damn devil you know what I'm saying? And thinking he gonna save you, man. And when you get to the register, it ain't gonna work. So now you just <laughs> fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Now you, now you just gotta see him and you, you fucked up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. What was that movie? If I may add, what was a precursor to what you just said? The, the juice. Yeah. They thought the juice was gonna save them, mm-hmm. but what happened over time? Now they just fucked up. Now, now they dying off. Yeah, that's right. We ain't gonna speak too much on that because they like the, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, medical misinformation. You know what I'm saying? So I got blocked several times for that shit. Even though you in the spirit and you telling the truth, you know. Um, 
Uh, we gonna continue. Say, you got some? Go ahead. Yeah, it say safety, piece of safety. We know that safety goes into what the security from, you know, uh, some type of enemy, man. Mm-hmm. That's, that's the state of mind that they gonna. Yeah. Play, you know, and that's the state of mind. You know, like I said, what well, has in the days of Noah. Mm-hmm. Man. I'm so sure mm-hmm. it's, you know the son of man. All right, well, they was eat, eating and drinking and marrying yep. and being, being, being married, man. You know? And they not going to have no idea, you know, that the Lord is going to come, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and creep up on their ass, man. That's you right. Know? That's right. If I may, <sighs> the people the people going to be careless, you know? And I got the word careless. It says uh, free from anxiety. It says uh, free from danger. Ooh. Uh, inattentive, neg- negligent. Yeah. Hey, if I may, d- d- that's the majority of the people on this earth. They they're careless. Mm-hmm. They they don't have no fear of the Lord. They think they're free from danger. They think you know they're neglecting the Lord. You know, just like Proverbs one and uh twenty twenty one say, man. You know, they forsook all the ca- uh, they forsook all the counsels of the Lord. That's why they ass gonna be destroyed, man. You know, you got some Iowa? Yeah, if I may, the brother <laughs> said fear from anxiety, so I had to get the word anxiety. It says intense, excessive, and persistent worry and fear about everyday situations. Hey, so that's pretty much yeah. what it's going into. Yeah. It, that's that's right. literally what it's going into. Yeah, it's been everyday situations, but you have to realize that the like, yeah, we worry about everyday situations, but what's the main situation at hand that we we have the most fear about? That that dreadful day of the Lord. So that's why it says, what is the day of the Lord to you? Everybody think that the day of the Lord is going to come back and be all oh, roses and kisses, roses and kisses. But if you haven't been doing what the Lord has told you to do, it's going to be hell and shit show for you. That's right. That's all I want to get. Hey, if I may just add to your point, uh, that anxiety, the world is, if you hear on the radio and on the news, they ask worried too about the different things <laughs> in the world. They talking about... You know, April 8th, a lot of shutdowns happening and EMP strikes and all of that shit. So it's like a duality happening with that. Like the elect are, you know, going through an anxiety because of the fear of the Lord. Right. And then you got the people in this world. They they care about the things of this world. You know what I'm saying? They're not caring about the fear of the Lord. They fearing the things of the world. And it's two different fears. One fear is going to destroy your ass and one fear is going to protect you. You got to choose your fears out here. Choose what to be afraid of, man. You know, because everything is controlled by the Lord. So if you're afraid of the worldly things, you 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 at a low level. You got to be afraid of the one who control the worldly things. If I may add, that's why it says fear not the man that can kill the body, but fear the man that can kill the body and the soul. Mm-hmm. So that that's who you need to have your fear. In. That's right. That's right. Uh, we're going to continue on. Then we're going to start to wrap it up in a minute. This is uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 4. It says, But ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day shall overtake you as a thief. You see, that's the difference. You know, you want to be the ones who are in the light. You know what I'm saying? Like it says right here in verse 5, ye are the children of light. What is this light? This truth. You know, this is the light that, you know, uh, uh, allows you to see in this valley of the shadow of death, in this darkness, right? It says, and the children of the day, we are not of the night nor of darkness, right? So this is the this is the light that shines upon your feet so you're able to walk and make steps towards the Lord, man. You know, verse six, it says, therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober, right? Watch and, and, and pray, watch and hope. You know, for the for the prophecies to constantly take place, you know. Yes, man. Man, pretty much, man. We're not gonna be a, in a state of ignorance, man. Yep. We're not gonna be in a, a mindset of, of gross darkness, man. Other people, you know why? Because like what the brother just brought out, man. We got the children of the light, man. And the other day, all right. And what and we, what a lot of people grow up in the in the new time, in the day, man. You know, mean, meaning what the Lord has blinded their eyes, man. You know, but the Lord has gotten that and washed our eyes spiritually, man. So we're able to see, you know, at the Lord, you know, and, and, and measure his coming, man. You know, and if I may, can I get this, uh, this, uh, uh, it's a statement saying, be in the know. I know y'all, I'm pretty sure you heard of that, right? Huh. Are you in the know? Mm-hmm. This says this, 
it says, be aware of something known only to a few people. Mm -hmm. you know? and, and, that's the, and, that, and that hopefully, you know, we, we, you know, hoping that to be us, man. You know, it, it's only consists of a few people to only be in the know, man. You know, uh -huh. and we know that to be the elect, you know, and the one third, man. 144,000, mm -hmm. one third. So, hey, I just want to, uh, if I may, I want to add to that point, you know, there's a saying in the world, knowledge is power. And we have, you know, that ultimate knowledge. So that means we're going to be what? The ultimate powerful. Okay. You know, I just wanted to add that to the point, you know, because that, the, the world, they view knowledge as power. The wisest person in the room, people tend to respect, you know? Okay. So, okay. hey, uh, 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 for right now, folly is set at great dignity, but when the, when the kingdom of heaven arise, wisdom will be set at great dignity. You know, the true wisdom. So like, you got some, somebody got some. Yeah. I just want to add on to what you just said, you know, as the, as the, as the saying goes, you know, with great, uh, knowledge, what comes, comes great, great responsibility. responsibility. You know what I'm saying? We have a responsibility. We have a, a duty you know, or reasonable service, as uh, Romans said, Romans chapter 12, you know, to be able to um, be into this work, man. You know, so it's, it's uh, we're taking on that responsibility now, man, so we can rest, you know, of our, of our, of our works, you know, in the kingdom. That's right. Yeah, I mean, you. Yeah. Uh, this is First Thessalonians 5 and 7 it says, for they that sleep in the night and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. Verse eight, hey, the ones who are asleep, they don't have this truth. You know, there's still is a lot of a lot of bones didn't get up in that valley. And all Ezekiel 37, the ones who got up are the ones who got the breath. You know, them the ones who got up truly. Everybody else is zombies, man. You know, yeah, this is first Thessalonians five and eight it says, but let us who are of the day be sober, putting on a breastplate of faith and love. And for the helmet, you know, the hope of salvation, man. And, you know, we could continue on with this, man, because this is a beautiful chapter. But for the sake of time, we're going to go back over to the parable, you know, get a couple more precepts, then wrap it up. You got it, brother. Um, finishing out 36 and 37. Um, uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, verse 36, it says, let's come in suddenly. He find you sleeping. If I may, he come and find you sleeping. What's going to happen? You're going to get destroyed. You know what happened with the five wise versions and the five foolish versions? You know, the, the five foolish versions, they were sleeping. They, they, you know, they oil didn't burn. You know, they wasn't awake when a bridegroom came. And what happened? They was left. They was left outside. You know, they came too late. You know, so you don't want to be found sleeping. The Lord has given you oil so that way you can sustain and keep your lamp burning. You know, mm. but if you if you let that oil go out and don't do what's required of you, you're going to be caught out there in the darkness, caught out there in the night, not protected inside the chambers of the Lord, man. You know. Let's continue on real quick. Somebody got something to say? If not, we can continue on. All right. Go ahead, verse 37. It says, and what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. Watch. You know what I'm saying? Watch, man. Uh, and we, we brought out some of the ways that you're supposed to watch, man. You know, this is just an exhortation precept right here I wanted to get. Uh, this is Luke chapter 18 and verse 7. It says, and shall not Yahweh Bashem Yahweh avenge his own elect, which cried day and night unto him? That's how you watch. You know, you got to cry day and night unto the Lord. The Lord said what? Put a mark on them that sigh and cry for the abominations that is done in the midst thereof. So if you're not crying, if you're not upset with this place, if you're not in the house of the sorrowful and in the house of the mourning and in the house of feasting, your ass going to be destroyed, man. You know, you got to be crying and so you got to give a damn about what's happening. You can't be yeah. clueless out there not knowing and you know you oppressed and, and you happy as hell. Like you got you got Jake out here with a big ass smile on their face when you supposed to be upset. You supposed to be mad, man. You know? Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, man. 
supposed to be crying and sighing, giving a damn about the state of your people. That's who the Lord going to come for. Not those fake activists, not a real activist, the ones who stand up for the Lord, man. Because we are the true, we are the true vanguards, man. We are the ones who truly trust in the Lord and, and who truly love their people. Everybody else in it for a bag. You know what I'm saying? Want to get elevated, want fame. This, we truly love our people, man. It says, though he bear long with them, you know, though he bear long with them, you know, the, the Lord got us suffering right now for a reason. When we get out this furnace of affliction, it's going to be the perfect time, right? It's going to be the perfect time. It's going to be a time where, you know, you're going to get that body. We, we, we're not going to get out the oven unless we're, we're done. Like put a fork in it. Like they, like they like to say in the world, man. You know, that's when we when we actually ready to be, you know, what I'm saying the elect are in this furnace to burn a to that all that dross and all that zinc and copper. Get out that gold, man. Right. You know, this is Luke 18 and 8. It says, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Shall not he avenge his only elect? Hey, the Lord is coming back fast, man. He says speedily. It says, nevertheless, when the son of man cometh, shall he find faith on earth? You know, that's a question. When he returned, shall he find your 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 lamps burning? Will he find a, a, a adequate workman? Will he find a, a good servant? You know, these are the questions that you got to ask yourself daily. And by you, you know, what I'm saying answering that question daily, you'll find yourself doing work according to the spirit, chiefly keeping the faith, man. You know, brothers got something. That's it. Hey, man, uh, you know, hopefully this was edifying. All right, we're going to end it by giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Kodash. All right, double honors once again to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Shalom one once again to the elect. All right, don't let your sins weigh you down. Don't let your iniquities lift up themselves. That's what they want to do. It's our job to repent and keep it moving through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Shalom one, Yahshua, on to the next one. Oh, yes, bro. Oh,